In this screencast, I am going to uh, hopefully help those of you who are not familiar with require.js but have to fix something that uses require. Um, require is a really awesome tool for building out very complicated uh, web applications, um, but it uses conventions uh, and, and programming methods that are going to be really confusing to people that aren't familiar with it. Um, and probably the most confusing is just the way that the scripts are loaded in the first place. Now here's an example application. It is the ubiquitous um, uh, Twitter clone. And uh, there's been regression. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, the, uh, the, all the text in this has been reversed. And we want to figure out why um, it's happening and we want to stop it from happening. And if I load the page, you'll see that if I'm just looking at scripts here, uh, only two scripts are being loaded. There's require, and that's easy enough. Um, but then there's also this main dot built, or sometimes it's main dash built, or it's going to be just built, or it's going to be something like that. Um, and this is a highly compressed file. Uh, and it even even in the sources panel, if we uh, look at this uncompressed, pretty prettified, looking at it in pretty print, um, even here, it's really confusing to go through this and try to figure out where regression may have happened. So, how do you, how do you, how can you work on this in a better environment? Well, chances are, you've got this main dash built or main dot built dot js. Um, parallel to it, there may be, if you're lucky, so here's our main dot built. There may be a, just a plain old main main dot js. So the first thing to try is, in a local copy, try not to do this uh, on live production code, but just make a, a, a local copy and change it from dot .built to uh, just uh, main. Um, find where main.built is being referenced in your code and just change it to main. Now if we re reload this and load up the network panel, you should see that where before we had uh, require and one more file, now we have require and eight files a lot better. And these are all broken, these fairly small, bite-sized, easy to understand, and easy to fix if there are issues with it. So I'm just going to change that back to built again. And there we have the two. And changing it just to build and main, or sorry, main.js and we get those. So that is how you can get to the source file so that you don't have to be working in, in compiled code. Now, some people may not come across this very often. Um, this is uh, the way that require require.js declares where the starting point to your program is. It says where the main module is located. Um, it may not be here. It may also be Is it uh, scripts main.js? So before it had, um, let's just see if that loads, and it does. So it may be that way as well. Previously it was data main, and then scripts main, not main.js, just main. Or you can have it as scripts, you can load it as a normal script. Um, that's uh, that's another main way. There's one more that I won't go into, but uh, but this will uh, this will this will cover this particular issue. And if we want to change it back to the built version, that also works. Okay, let's fix it. So somewhere in here we have this coming out in gobbledygook and. Well, this is a uh, tweets and this is a timeline. Each timeline has a status. It's probably in uh, status. Hopefully your project is well mapped out. So it's going to be somewhere in here. So let's load up status in our editor. And I'm going to set a breakpoint. Uh, I'm just going to... Maybe not a good idea to put debugger straight in the code. It's going to get hit an awful lot. And then we can step through it here, and we get to a uh, suspicious point in our text. That looks better. Let's keep going. And 
we found our regression. It's happening here. For what whatever reason, this line is making everything into garbage. So we're going to test it. We're going to uh, comment that out and see if it has an impact on the page. Uh, first, I'm going to uh, sources and get out of this. And it does fix it. OK, so you've isolated the issue. You can take that out. You can commit that to your repository. And um, you're done. You can, you can leave it like this. It's safe to leave it like this. But it's still being loaded as a bunch of files. And ideally, you'd like to have it back at the stage where there's only require and one more file. And again, if you're lucky, if the developer who did this um, was organized on Mac, um, I created an optimized script and I try to keep it with the projects and hopefully there will be something like that as well. And if you try uh, executing that, well, hopefully it will work. You will need, in this case, you will need uh, um, node installed. Okay, so we got some good stuff happening there and it's produced a main built.js. And let's try switching back. So I've changed the script back to main.built. And if we fix the regression in our source code and we've recompiled it, it should come back out as two files and no more gobbity book, which it's done. So this is a little um, contrived, admittedly. Um, but uh, again, this, the steps that you would go through uh, for this would be looking at the at your source code to see where requires being loaded and where the you, what you want to track down is the main module and it may be may look something like that it may look something like that it may be in a separate script tag I'm to fix that track it down if you're lucky Hopefully, you've got access to the main as well, the, not the uncompressed. Now you don't have to work in the compressed file. You can work in the source files, make your changes, um, uh, test them, uh, promote them to your, um, uh, uh, commit them to your repository, rebuild your project, and uh, away you go. I hope that helps.